Kia ora, good morning everyone, Richard here, welcome back to the channel. As you probably say, good evening, it's pretty dark here today. So today we are looking at a pretty special lens. That's the lens I'm using for filming right now. I was going to ask you guys to guess what sort of lens I'm reviewing in this video, but I thought by the time you're watching this video, you have seen the title. So there's not much point asking you to guess what lens it is. And the lens I'm reviewing today is the Vason 40mm T2 anamorphic lens. Anamorphic lens has been around for quite a while and it was first created back in the film days when people want to shoot some wide aspirational wide format movie um, using the film and back then the four, um, that was the 35mm film that was the popular format and people can create a wide aspect ratio film but that means you need to have different kind of camera you need to have different kind of projector all the equipment will be changed so someone come up with a clever idea is they create an anamorphic lens which basically um, squeeze a wider image into the standard 35 millimeter frame and that means the recorded image would be quite a bit um, narrower and when you play it back then they go through a opposite lens that would de-squeeze it so that the image would look uh, like a normal but in a widescreen format and that's why anamorphic lens has created so you may ask why do we still need to use anamorphic lenses we are not shooting with film anymore there are two reasons one is that the digital camera we're using these days the sensor is still either 3 to 2 or 4 to 3 aspirational so it's still not really a wide format sensor so if we should um, with using a normal sensor we can crop it but that means we throw away half the sensor so that's not going to help the image quality and the second reason is that anamorphic lenses usually it comes with some certain character uh, one is that the background bulky area that's the out of focus area usually with normal lenses you have something rounded but with anamorphic lenses you have the oval shape and that is something that only have with the anamorphic lenses and the second reason is that the lens flare with the anamorphic lenses usually you have some special bluish and also very special looking lens flare in the picture that you capture that's something that you don't have with the normal lenses and that's why people these days still want to use anamorphic lenses is to capture those very special looking picture that usually the big production Hollywood movies that you can see in those movies so anyway enough talking I want to go and shoot some video using this lens I'm here today with Peter and Julia from Kawasnet Pictures so we want to go shoot some videos and let's go and do it right now
Okay, let's continue the review by talk about the build quality and design of this Phazen 40mm T2 anamorphic lens first. Well, the build quality of this lens is solid and metal. I know I have said many times before in my other review, some of the lenses has very solid, very metal build quality, but this lens is like another level, like above all the other lenses in terms of the build quality. It feels super, super solid. It feels like built like a tank. After I using it for a few days, when I switch back to my other lenses, some of those I thought very good, very solid build quality before but now when i go back to those lenses all of a sudden those lenses feel like plastic toy to me now this lens weighs about 1.8 kilogram so it is very heavy if you compare it to the other micro four foot lenses even when i mount it onto uh, gh5 with cage and everything it still feel very front heavy once I mount it onto the camera and every time like when I put it on the tripod and when I release it from the tripod every time when I do that the camera will suddenly feel like just drop down to the front just because how heavy the front of the lens is compared to the rest of the camera but it is heavy only if I compare it with the normal micro four foot lenses if you look at the other anamorphic lenses in the market, the one for the 35mm format, a lot of those lenses are like easily 3kg or even heavier. So compare this Vazen 40mm T2 lens to those anamorphic lenses, this lens is really not that heavy at all. The focus ring is at the front of the lens and the focus flow is about 300 degree. There's a focus mark on both sides of the lens. There's one here and there's another one here. The focus ring is geared just like the iris ring as they are designed to use with a follow focus system. If you want to use your hand to turn the focus ring, you definitely can do that. That's how I have been using most of the time when I'm working on this review. But don't expect you can do a very fast focus pull because of the long focus flow. The iris ring is at the back of the lens and the range is from T2 all the way to T16. If you are used to using photo lenses, you may find the iris ring quite loose compared to the aperture ring on the photo lenses. Because anamorphic lenses has extra element to help squeeze the image, usually anamorphic lenses are not quite as sharp as the normal um, non-anamorphic lenses. But with this Vazen lens, even when you are shooting at T2, I find the center sharpness is actually pretty good. I won't call it super sharp, but it's definitely more than usable. And if you stop down to T4 and then the center sharpness become very, very good. The off center sharpness is also decent. Actually, when I compare it with the center sharpness, the off center sharpness is pretty much the same when shooting at the same T-stop setting. So that means you don't have to worry about the sharpness too much if you have to place your subject not right in the center of the frame. Lens flare wise, of course, there is lots of lens flare, otherwise it is not an anamorphic lens. So every time when there's a strong light source in front of the lens, you have that bluish uh, straight line lens flare that I think everybody loves, that give you that JJ Abraham look and that looks really cinematic. In terms of distortion, there is a bit of distortion. If you look at this brick wall photo, you can see there is a bit of barrel distortion near the edge of the frame. Vignetting control is very well with this Vazen lens. Even when I'm shooting at T2, I don't really see too much vignetting. And once I stop down to T2.8, then vignetting is almost not noticeable. However, there is a small amount of vignetting at the very edge or very corner of the frame, like the last 5% or so, and that's something that I can't really get rid of even when I stop down to T8. Focus breathing wise, there is a bit of focus breathing, but I notice most of the focus breathing is between um, 1 meter to 3 meter. Once you go past 3 meter, then the amount of focus breathing is very minimal. Chromatic aberration is reasonably well controlled. 
while I do see some color finishing when I'm shooting at wide open or at t2.8, but once I stop down to t4, then I don't really see much chromatic aberration at all. One little behind the scenes story I want to share with you guys is that evening when I went out with Peter and Julia from Coasnet Pictures um, to test out this lens. Pretty much every time um, we set up the camera, we put it there and when we look at the screen and everyone is like, wow, and we keep doing that pretty much the whole evening. I think it's a combination of the wide aspect ratio and also how the lens render the scene, the lens flare, the bokeh, the color. So putting everything together, no matter how we set up the camera, we put the camera here, um, look at it and it's wow, it looks cinematic and we turn it around and wow again, it's cinematic. So we have been saying wow the whole evening because everything we shoot just suddenly look super cinematic, especially that evening, um, it was quite wet. So with the refreshing from the floor and also the lights in the background, it just makes everything look super cinematic and looks really magical. And while I said the lens is quite heavy, it is definitely still quite handheldable, especially when you um, pair it with a camera like GH5 which has very good in-body image stabilizer. So I shot quite a bit of footage just using the GH5 handheld with this lens. And even though I don't have very steady hands, the result is still quite usable. At the beginning of the evening, I think we all just want to have a bit of fun with this lens. But after a few hours of shooting with this lens, I'm pretty sure we all want to buy this lens as well because when we look at the footage, it just looks so special and so different compared to the normal lenses that we usually use for filming. And while this lens is really designed for filmmaking, there's no rule say you can't use it to take photos as well. So I actually went out one of the evening and just want to capture some photo using this lens. And here are some of the photos I shot with this lens. I really love the photos I capture using this lens. Again, it's very cinematic. The only issue I had is not so much about the lens, but because of the anamorphic preview feature on the GH5 is only available when shooting in the creative video mode. So when I switch to the photo mode, I don't have the anamorphic preview anymore. And that makes it a little bit hard to visualize the end result, how the photo would look like. In the end, what I did is I just leave the camera in the creative video mode when I was just trying to um, frame the photo and adjust all the setting. And once I got everything right, then I hold the camera and quickly switch back to the photo mode, take a photo and then switch back to the creative video mode again. It's a bit of extra work, but after a bit of practice, then it becomes pretty quick and easy. This Phazon 40mm T2 anamorphic lens is definitely a very special and very unique lens. To be honest, if I have a few thousand dollars spare in my bank, I would probably tell Vazen that I'm not going to ship the lens back to you guys. I'm going to pay for it. I'm going to keep it. Unfortunately, I don't have that a few thousand dollars spare money in my bank. That means I have to ship it back to them tomorrow. But if you are a filmmaker and you want to have that special cinematic look, this is definitely a lens that you should check out.